Okay guys, this is the next build I'm doing. I'm doing a truck terminal from Pike Stuff. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do or how I do this. Guys, oh, this is the truck terminal again and this is all the parts out of the packet. As you can see right up the top left hand corner, that's the roof. And the big the two big long panels are your side panels or your, your lamp for your panels. The other small one in the centre is your the side panel. And then you've got your concrete um, mouldings. Then there's steps. The roller doors, railings, down pipes. Now also, when you're going to cut the panels for the roller doors, which I'll zoom in. You'll have markings for windows and little doors, but no markings for your roller doors. So you've literally got to cut your roller doors from scratch. So I'm guessing you're going to have to have a sharp blade. Now they say in the instructions that you will start the first cut in the centre of the two grooves and then you measure along about seven grooves and then cut again but always measure measure twice otherwise you might muck up So my next job is to cut the holes out for the roll doors. Okay guys, back on cutting the, the roll doors in the, in the side panels. I'm using a, obviously a clamp and a ruler. Rusty Stanley knife. So I'm going to cut down the groove. So I'll go ahead and do that. We'll see okay, what she's going to cut. The first one with the roller door, we'll just go into the hole like so. And then your concrete barriers. Obviously, sit like that. so. But in the first one, or in a couple, I've cut a couple of the doors so they look open. And then I'll have the concrete barrier. And then the next one more closed and some will be open. So I'll go ahead and finish cutting all them out. Okay guys, the first one's done with all the roller doors. Back. And the little side door. All I'm going to do now is the second one. So I'm going to do the same. And then I'll figure out which ones I'll have open. Okay closed. guys, all the roller doors are in and being cut. Just a few of the doors I'm going to cut. So they look open, like the one on the top right hand side. Okay guys, I'm about to do the roof now. Now the roof comes with these spaces. They've got grooves in them and they'll sit in the... Like so, you get four but you only need three. And it also says to cut the roof. 
needs to be short to a scale of 19.3 but I don't want to cut mine I'm gonna have my roof overhanging on both sides anyway so I'm gonna glue these and hopefully it works Once the glue dries a bit and then I can I'll turn the roof around the right way and hopefully she's all lined up. Let that dry a bit and put the poker back. Side walls, I'll glue the side wall to the main walls. I'll go ahead and do the the rest and okay, guys, I'll show you what it looks like. Glued. Just waiting for it to dry now and then I'll, I'll go to the next piece piece of the puzzle. Okay guys, I'm gonna paint this whole shed a tan colour. Well, it says tan. But I did do the roof silver. I decided now I'll paint the whole lot the same colour. So that's the colour it's going to be. It's all dry now. So all I've got to do is put these walls up, cut them, paint them. 
So I'll cut them and paint them and stick them on. So you can see it. So I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like. I'm painting them a, my top coat concrete, which are them. So I'll give them a couple of coats. And they'll be ready to okay go. Guys, I've just put the found foundation strips on all the way around. And also, I've got a piece of ply board which I've cut to do my floor. So I will glue that in there too. So I will be painting the floor the concrete colour as I've done on the foundations. So I'll go ahead and paint that. Okay guys, the foundation's all been painted now. And the floor's also been painted as well. So now what I'm going to do is sort of do a bit of weathering to get that plastic shine off because I okay, haven't guys, any weathering. I decided to repaint yeah. it again to get rid of that shine and I'm using Temiar paints which is called dark yellow it looks like more of a brown. It seems to be a bit better. So I'll paint all that and you see. Carry on. I've sort of weathered the doors a bit. I just don't want the new look feel. And the paint job's certainly better than what it was before. But anyway, I'll see. Slowly painted the door, but I've also got to put these rails on, which will go on like so, and the downpipes. Now, to me, the downpipes should connect up to the roof, but they seem to be short. So what I'm thinking of doing is adding another length to the downpipe and I'll just join it. So I'll go ahead and glue the rails and the downpipes. Okay guys, the hand, hand rails are on, painted to see what she looks like. And also the down pipes. Now I'm just going to do a bit of weathering on the roof and the sides. But I'm going to use charcoal. Okay, guys, this is the charcoal I'm going to use. I'm just going to obviously put this on dry. And all I'm going to do is scrub it on. And then just wipe it off. And hopefully that will give me a really old weathering look. Or oh, the build is just old. And then I'll just rub it in. Just a 
this bit. So I'll go ahead and and finish it. And I'll show you what I've got. Some trucks in the loading bays. So I hope you all enjoyed guys, thanks for watching.